some characteristics of these three pistols are not that obvious to the new gun buyer. What is up Defenders, I am Adam Labrie, thank you so much for being here, and today we are going to cover the three basic pistol sizes and why you would pick one over the other. This is important because if you end up going out and buying a random pistol without understanding what role it was meant to fill, you may end up with a tool that won't fit your needs. So let's get started. The three pistol sizes we have set before you are the full size, the standard, by which all other sizes are typically measured by. Then we have the compact and the subcompact. The full size pistol has a barrel length typically between four and a quarter to five inches, and the magazine can hold 17 rounds. The compact has a barrel length between three and a half inches to four inches, and the magazine can only hold 15 rounds. The subcompact has a barrel length typically between three inches to three and a half inches, and depending on manufacturer and model, they typically hold between six to 10 rounds in their magazine. Now the question is, why would you pick one over the other? If you put these pistols on a scale, on this side you have easiest to conceal, and on this side you have easiest to shoot. Now this is the common misconception. Most people who are going out to buy a pistol for the first time tend to gravitate towards these smaller pistols, thinking that they will be easier to shoot compared to the full size. And this kind of thinking makes sense because if you don't start off with the super heavyweights, you start with the smaller weights and work your way up. You don't ski down the giant mountain until you've gone down the small hill a few times. However, when it comes to pistols, the exact opposite is true providing you're shooting the same caliber bullet out of each size. Why is that? Well, the full size is easier to shoot because due to its mass, it is able to help absorb the recoil after the pistol has been fired. The larger grip on the full size also gives the shooter more control because you have more to hold on to. This is why most law enforcement and military branches use the full size as their standard sidearms. If you're not trying to conceal the pistol, it makes sense just to go with the size that's easier to shoot. If you're planning to buy a pistol for your home defense tool, the one that you kind of sit next to your nightstand in case you hear the noise in the night, the full size pistol might be the option you want to look into. Now, contrast that with the subcompact and its smaller size. The subcompact's grip is so short, you may not be able to fit all your fingers around the grip, which also means less ammo capacity. And because of this, there tends to be more felt recoil because the extra weight and grip from the full size is not there to help you to manage the recoil. Now that doesn't mean it's gonna go flying out of your hands or anything like that, providing you're using the proper grip. It just won't be as enjoyable to shoot as the full size. You can still have a good time with the subcompact, it's just not as nice. However, if concealability is your biggest concern, the subcompact can be a fantastic option. Because of their slim design, they are very easy to conceal and very comfortable to carry. And this is a big deal for some people who wear tight-fitted clothing, especially during the summer months, which is nice so you don't have to change out your entire wardrobe to accommodate the pistol that you're going to carry. They also give you more carry options. Due to their size, you can carry it in your pocket, you can put it on your ankle, or any other method that may not be as easy to do with a full size. And then we have the compact sitting right in the middle. This is the jack of all trades, master of none. They are more comfortable to shoot than the subcompacts while also being easier to conceal than the full size. However, that also means they are not as easy to shoot as the full size and not as easy to conceal as a subcompact. Another great benefit for the compact is that it can use the same magazines from the full size version, including extended magazines. They can also oftentimes work in the same holster that is meant for the full size pistol. And this could be a really nice perk if you're planning to own both the compact and full size of the same pistol. Because let's be honest, there's always more room for freedom. Just make sure you don't break your budget. Now what we're talking about here are more guidelines than actual rules, because there are many people who do prefer to carry a full-size pistol, and you can certainly defend your home using a subcompact. 
there are many variables that could dictate which size will best fit your needs. However, now that you know these three basic sizes and what they are typically used for, you are now able to hopefully make a more informed decision on which one will fit your specific needs. Now there is more to know about being a responsibly armed citizen, so go ahead and check out these videos and I will see you over there.